Welcome to this video where I'm going to discuss weight loss strategies based on our client's experiences and today Cindy shared her effective weight loss strategy and also what makes her fall off track. Cindy said the one thing that helps with her weight loss is to be consistent with their workouts and paying attention to what she's putting in her, in her mouth. So the number one thing that I would tell you is that if you struggle with your nutrition, I want you to keep it super simple where you eat 80% of the same foods every single day. I know it maybe gets boring if you look at it and you put it down a pen and piece of paper, but if you struggle with your nutrition, if everything is the same, there is no struggle. And then you only have, you get 20% where you can fall off track or eating the wrong foods. But if you pre-plan 80% of your food and you eat the same thing every single day, then if you're eating the 80-20 rule, guess what? You are what you consistently do. So 80% of your food is going to be planned. You know it's good for you. And then 20% is the fall off food. It's no big deal. If you struggle with your food, then I would tell you to try intermittent fasting where you limit your calories to one to two meals so that you're so full that you can't fit another snack in your stomach. And that's one of the biggest problems that I find with our clients is that they're snackers, right? And it makes sense because the metabolism gets a little bit of a boost, your insulin, your glucose is a little bit higher. And so what ends up happening is it stimulates the hunger. Whereas if you just eat one to two meals and you maybe do a 20 hour fast, then you're going to be full and you're gonna feel fuller, longer. In fact, you're gonna sleep through most of it anyways, and you're gonna be busy working. So just extend that fast as far as possible. Now, the one thing that Cindy says that makes her fall off is that she loses the mindset. And as mentioned above, is that she often lacks motivation. Now, the thing I'm gonna tell you is that you need to forget about motivation. Motivation is a feeling and feelings can be good, feelings could be, could be bad. Whereas if you focus on making working out a part of your daily routine, that it becomes a non-negotiable, well guess what? You don't need motivation to take one step, take the next step, take the next step. You didn't need motivation to go and eat that, that score bar, right? Like you just went and did it. So. When it comes to your workouts, forget about motivation. You don't need motivation. You don't need a pep talk. You just need to just make it a part of your daily life. At 5 a.m., I always work out. At 5.15, I always work out. It's the same thing with me. I work full days. I start at 5.30 in the morning, and then my day kind of, first part of my day ends in and around 2.30, and then I get like an hour, and then I get the kids, and then my workout's at 5.15. I'm not motivated between 3.30 and 5.15, I'm freaking exhausted. But because that's my time slot that I just schedule no matter what, I show up no matter what, I don't need motivation to do that. All I need to do is just the things that I always do, which is get my gym stuff, get into the car, <laughs> pick up the kids, take my supplements, get on the floor, work out, come home, have dinner, do my thing. It's just part of your routine, right? Just make awesome things a part of your daily routine. The next thing I would tell you is that you need to forget about overthinking, right? Like when you wake up and your alarm goes off, don't allow yourself to fail. Create a winning environment. The winning environment happens by getting your ass out of bed. Say something great to yourself versus always rethinking the negative thoughts about yourself that you had the night before. And most importantly, put one foot in front of the other. So I always want to thank you guys for watching this video on weight loss strategies based on our client's experience. Now I hope you found these tips helpful because if you did, please give this video a like, comment below, give me an emoji, and don't forget to stay tuned for the next video where we discuss how to make this year your fittest year yet.